An islet is a short um, abbreviation for, um, irre for irrevocable life insurance trust. And an irrevocable life insurance trust really needs to be answered in two pieces. First of all, insurance policies, life insurance policies, probably are the number one generator of estate taxes from personal assets than probably any other. You know, when, when, if a person's estate is large enough to be estate taxed, it compounds the problem if you have a nice fat life insurance policy. People say to me, well, my insurance agent told me that, um, that life insurance is tax free. Well, it's income tax free, but not estate tax free. So if your estate is large enough to where that could be a problem, that is a, uh, a major concern. And we solve the problem by setting up an irrevocable trust and we use insurance policies within it, hence we call them irrevocable life insurance trusts. The benefit of an irrevocable trust is the fact that when you pass on, anything in that trust cannot be included in your estate. Hence, if a life insurance policy is included in there, instead of now it being included in your estate and being taxed, it will be completely excluded and will not be in your estate and it can save substantial estate taxes. Uh, it's also impervious to lawsuits. So for example, let's say that you had a large insurance policy and it was in the irrevocable life insurance trust and you, get, and you die and you get killed and it was in an automobile accident that was found to be your fault, it may very well be that there will be heirs or the, uh, the plaintiffs will come back and try and sue your estate but they cannot take those assets if they're included in a revocable life insurance trust. And frequently the beneficiary of those trusts are your children and your heirs. And so they can receive those proceeds without them being taken in a lawsuit. So we use it mostly for estate planning purposes for people who have larger estates.